welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is chapter 5 and today we are going to discuss question 5.11 5.12 and 5.13 okay so let us first talk about question 5.11 okay uh, so the statement of it is the probability that a patient recovers from a delicate heart operation is 0.9 what is the probability that exactly five of the next patients having this operation survive okay so survival is being basically the positive while not survival is basically the negative or false okay so therefore we have to find out the probability that five patients out of seven will have to survive so therefore this is the probability of the survival and it is what this is 0.9 and the probability of no survival would be how much that would be q and it is 1 minus 0 0.9 so it would be 0 0.1 okay uh, similarly the total number of patients here are n equal to 7 and we have to find that exactly 5 of them basically survives okay so k is 5 here what do i have to find out here i have to find the probability that k is equal to 5 and again we can see very clearly here that this is the problem of the binomial probability distribution okay so for this part we have this one and for it we clearly know that the formula for the binomial probability distribution is n choose k okay probability raised to power k and q which is 1 minus p that is n minus k okay so we have all these values here let me put them here one by one so this is 7 choose 5 okay for this one here and the probability here is 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 raised to the power 5 okay and q is 0 0.1 and 7 minus 5 because n minus k is 7 minus 5 so here it will be square okay so uh, let me find it out 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial and 7 minus 5 is 2 factorial similarly finding them out 0 0.95 0 0.1 square okay so then ultimately calculating and finding it out what will be the answer the answer here will be 0 0.1240 and that is what that is basically the solution of question 5.11 okay so this is what this is the solution of question 5.11 and we have done it now let us move toward question 5.12 and the statement of it is a traffic control engineer reports that 75 percent of the vehicle passing through a checkpoint are from within the state okay so uh, let me write this uh, given data here uh, so question 5.12 okay and this is the given data and in given data the probability that the uh, vehicles are within the state are 75 percent so the probability of within state is w and this is 0 0.75 okay so what is the probability that fewer than four of the next nine vehicles are from out of the state okay so from this probability we can very clearly see that if the probability that within the state vehicles are uh, 0 0.75 the probability that out of state okay out of state is what or let me write it with o out of state it would be 1 minus 0 0.75 or it would be 0. 2, 5. Okay. So now what do we have to find out? What is the probability that fewer than 4 of the next 9 vehicles here n is 9 and here we have to find the probability that k is less than 4 and we have to find the probability that k is less than 4 and here we can see that these are out of the state means this is the probability which we were seeing okay so this is the probability for the true and this is for false means this is q here and this is here 
P. Okay. So let me solve it here. Let me move down somehow. Okay. So I hope this statement is now clear to you guys. So finding the probability that k is less than 4 so it is what it is the probability that k is less than or equal to 3 which is what which we can find out very clearly by all the values of k which are less than or equal to 3 so k equal to 0 plus k equal to 1 plus k equal to 2 okay and plus k equal to 3 okay we can also write it like here let me use another color for it let me use this blue color uh, so we can also write it like the probability of k equal to 0 up to 3 okay and writing the formula because each one here corresponds with the binomial probability law so here and choose k p of k okay and q would be n minus k okay similarly using the binomial probability formula for each one of them here what would i get here applying this formula for all of them what would i get here the answer of it would be 0 0.8343 okay so that is what that is basically the solution of question 5.12 okay so you have seen that what is the difference between this and the other question is that here p and q are different uh, from whatever is given so you have to keep your eyes on the uh, required things that what is required so out of the state requires while uh, within the state probability has been given similarly for question 5.13 a nationwide survey that examined attitudes about antidepressant revealed that approximately 70 percent of respondents believe antidepressants do not really cure anything they just cover up the real trouble okay so that is basically a belief which 70 percent of the patients basically believe in according to this study what is the probability that at least three of the next five people selected at random will hold this opinion okay so from from the overall population the probability of holding this opinion is 70 percent okay so let me solve it here this is question 5.13 so the probability of, of holding this opinion is 70 percent which is 0 0.7 and the probability of not holding this opinion would be 1 minus p or 1 minus 0 0.7 and that would be 0 0.3 okay so i hope you have got it so now uh, the next selected people are basically five so n is five and we have to see that at least three of the next people uh, basically hold this opinion so we have to find out that the probability that k is greater or equal to three and it would be what it would be k equal to three plus k equal to four okay and plus k equal to 5 okay so these are basically all the values and this is again the case of the binomial probability law so let me again use the formula for k equal to 3 up to 5 and n choose k okay and probability k while q n minus k okay putting values here what i will get k equal to 3 up to 5 n is how much uh, n is 5 okay this is k and p is how much that is 0 0.7 0 0.7 k and q is 0 0.3 and it would be 5 minus k okay now solving it and then finding all the values here we will very clearly see that uh, solving them individually for all the values of k and then adding them together it is very easy to see that the answer of it is 0 0.8369 okay and that is what that is basically the solution of question 5.13 okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen some use cases of the binomial probability law and how can we apply the probability distribution function which is in the form of the binomial probability so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon